talk to you about prejudice and the body of Christ. Uh oh. You know it comes from both ends. I want to share two incidences that happened involving me. One, I was at a church standing in the prayer line waiting to be prayed for by members of the prayer team. This was quite an integrated group. And one lady walks up to me with her husband. And I'm going to imitate the way she acted. Yes, I've forgiven. I'm over it. It's no problem. It didn't even hurt me. I was kind of amused, to be honest, because I grew up in Brooklyn, so I didn't have prejudice issues, you know, like, like people who were raised in the South. This lady walks up to me. She, I think I was in my 40s, and she had to be in her 60s. She walks up to me. And she prays for me with all the sweetness she could muster up. And I believe that her intention was genuinely positive. I really believe that. But input, output, no matter what, what's inside will come out. Even if you don't know what it is that's coming out of you. She stood there and prayed for me, and her prayer goes like this. Oh, Lord, I, I pray that you bless my sister. That's so good. You know, so far, so good. Sounds good, right? Okay. I pray that you bless my sister, Lord, and I pray that you please help her understand that you made all people different and help her to accept herself and, and, and not feel insecure because of her race and her color. But Lord, please bless her and help her to be comfortable with, with, with who you made her to be. This is me. <laughs> you kidding me? Of course I didn't say that. But in my mind, I had a dialogue going on with God, like, Lord, what is this woman's trip? <laughs> anyway, it was so amusing. I was really fighting from cracking up in the middle of a prayer. She was so into it. So, Lord, please heal her heart and comfort her and encourage her and let her know all the ways she can reach her people for Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I watched that woman walk away from me as if to say, are you for real? <laughs> anyway, she really meant well. I really believe she meant well. But we don't realize how much prejudice is in our hearts. That's number one. I thought I was going to talk about two, but a third one came to my mind, so bear with me. Episode number two. I'm at a restaurant, and I am with a friend of mine from church. She happens to be Caucasian, and we're sitting there eating, talking, and blah, 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 having a nice little casual time. We just came from church, so we're kicking it. In walks a lady who I knew from years ago. And I remembered the conversation that lady and I had. She happened to be black. We'll call her Sister Appleseed. And Sister Appleseed comes over to say hello. Now, I'm getting ready to introduce her, right? And I said, hi, I wanted you to meet my friend Susie Q. And, but I couldn't remember Susie Q's name. So I said, hi, Sister Appleseed. How you doing? Well, this is my friend. Oh, goodness, goodness. What's your name? Because I had just met her recently, so I was still trying to memorize her name. And as I'm trying to remember her name, Sister Appleseed quickly says, oh, it's not important. Anyway, so-and-so-and-so. And she's talking to me. 
and she's totally ignoring the fact that this lady is sitting here with me across the table. And I looked at her, and I said, well, lo and behold, prejudice comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors now, doesn't it? Wow. Now, this is the reason. The lady didn't recognize it. You know why I recognized it? As quickly as I did. Because one of the conversations we had in the past was, she asked me, well, couldn't you have found a black church that you could be comfortable with? Why did you have to find a white church? I said, okay, I've always been a member of a black church. What? The body of Christ is the body of Christ. I don't give us a Spanish church. If they're good people and the word's coming across, I want to go to church. But... Some people have their boundaries. Now, don't they? That's in the body of Christ. Now, let's go on to episode number three. Isn't this amusing? Here's number three. One day, I'm trying to decide if I should tell this one or not. I think I'll wait for the next, uh, the next video. Stay tuned for station identification. God bless you. Keep you in suspense.